Looking back in history, I once covered approximately 190 kilometers on a traditional bike while carrying 35 kilograms of camping gear. Unfortunately, I can't recall the exact year. It was quite brutal on my butt. In 2018, after converting my bike on an e-bike, I achieved a remarkable feat. I rode a staggering 320 kilometers in a single day. However, by end of this epic ride, I found myself wrestling with exhaustion, desperately needing sleep. It was quite <laughs> the adventure. 2022 day record for enduro bike 326 kilometers. In 2020, I used a recommend bike to travel 345 kilometers using only the hand throttle. 21, I traveled 361 kilometers with pedal assistance. The journey could have been longer, but the road was unoptimized, passing through major downs and gravel roads. And uh, I had to shorten the route to, uh, to time wasted. It's um, 3.45 a.m. on the weekend a time when everybody in is um, deep sleep. Meanwhile, I'm gearing up for an exciting day of record breaking. I always take every uh, possible measure um, to make myself noticeable to motorists uh, as I value my life. In this record breaking run, I'm not only using the pedals, but also striving to maintain a very high average speed if uh, possible. Taking short break to stretch my leg and enjoy the view as the weather starts to clear. The temperature is rising, so it's time to shed a few layers. I absolutely love riding in the countryside with its minimal traffic and uh, beautiful uh, summer nature that feasts for the eyes. The recommend bike which I like to call dual field car is uh, perfect for such long distances to its amazing comfort. Taking a slightly longer break now to rest and have a meal. As you can see, the road is well planned and optimized, avoiding previous mistakes such as passing through major downs and gravel roads that lowers the average speed. For dinner, I'm having a potato and vegetable salad, a protein-rich 
t-shirt and a banana. Bon appetit. I'm making a small battery swap. Uh, on this trip I'm equipped with two batteries. The main battery is located at the back. It's um, 2 kilowatts and uh, weights 10 kilos. And on the side of the bike I have 1.6 kilowatt battery pack that weights around uh, 8 kilos. Just uh, look how the wind bending those tree branches after I change their direction. <laughs> it's going to be quite exciting to face such decent headwind. In uh, such uh, record breaking attempt, it's all about riding in a straight line. There's a very little time to left to relax. The mountain that I'm currently passing is known as Kivioli Ash Hill. It's a popular spot for skiing in the winter, providing great way to spend some laser time. This time, in distance breaking day of riding, I'm going to recharge the battery for the first time. All previous records were for a single charge. I'm currently at Toila Camping where I'm charging the batteries. The downtime is around uh, maximum 4 hours. Um, I had to pay 7 euros for camping spot. Although I don't uh, plan to stay overnight, since it's a business, there's no free lunches, I have no complaints. The unbelievable hour speed was uh, 38 km per hour. Never in my A-bike history have maintained such high speed over such um, long distances. I'm uh, familiar with this place. I've been here for every year and rented a camping a cabin. I have various videos on my YouTube channel uh, and I visited with all of my e-bikes and stayed here. Yeah, I was asking any other pronunciations. Uh, do you do any mixed martial arts? I mean, MMA? I listened to the Kippo Kaskambater livestream recording to fill my free time. It's a quite beautiful place. Butter is full and ready to head back. The headwind is killing my average speed, a great stress on my legs too. It's precisely because um, of this typical windy Baltic weather that I started to love e-biking. Over 100 kilometers to go. I'm not tired. No at all. It's almost midnight um, and I did it again. <laughs> Let's look at the statistics. It took me 30 hours just to drive with an average speed of 30 
4 km per hour, which is pretty amazing for such distance. I use 4.8 kW of energy. Logically, you could have done this ride without charging in between, but the average speed will have much less um, lower, perhaps around 25 km per hour or even less. And it would be have extremely heavy load on my legs. I wonder what the record for the next distance would be. A few years ago I shared a video titled E-Bike Close Calls Walls which showcased various incidents including falls and near misses that occurred while I was on the road. I frequently ride e-bikes and over time I've encountered numerous situations. The upcoming episode will serve as a follow-up uh, to the previous one featuring new content based on this experience. Thanks for tuning in and catch you in the next episode. Bye!